Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us today for our webinar titled, How Can Data Help You Double Your Short-Term Rental Business in 2020? So first off, just a quick intro. I'm Shelly. I'm the Business Development Manager here at Guesty. And joining me today is Lucy Driver, Account Manager from Transparent, Short-Term Rental Data Provider. We're going to have a packed agenda today and go over a lot. Um, and first, we're going to start with just a meet of Guesty and Transparent and learn a little bit more about us. Then we're going to go into the three factors that drive revenue. Um, and then we're going to talk about how to implement that data to see results. And lastly, we're going to end it with a Q&A session to make sure we answer all of those great questions. But first, just a little bit about Guesty. As you guys know, property managers at any given moment have a lot to balance, and Guesty is increasingly aware of all of those pain points. Between communicating with incoming or prospective guests, managing homeowners and all of that inventory that you're managing, managing your staff, teams, growing and maintaining property inventories, distributing rentals across multiple booking platforms, branding and marketing strategy, right? The list goes on and on, and it's safe to say that property managers have so much to deal with in their day to day. We realize that while trying to balance operations and all the extra special touches unique to your brand, you somehow have to leave time to think about how to grow your business. Um, and of course, again, reach those revenue goals and growth goals um, for the year. Well, that's where Guesty comes in. We're an end-to-end -end property management software for short-term rental businesses. Our platform simplifies the most repetitive and time-consuming aspects of running a vacation rental business so that you're not only able to run a more efficient operation, but also have time to focus on growth, improving your marketing strategy, right, et cetera. These strategic initiatives that are really what help you grow your business and make an impact on the industry. So how exactly does our platform help you manage a better rental business? Well, it's with our features, all of which have been specifically designed to solve all of those pressing needs property managers are stuck spending time too much on, right? So this includes communication with the guests and having a unified inbox for every channel, every email, every piece of communication that comes in from the guests to be able to answer accordingly um, and, of course, and provide that level of service that we all want to provide. Being able to manage all of your availability and rates in one centralized calendar with our channel manager feature. Having mobile access to all of your listing data with a mobile app because at the end of the day, you guys are always on the go and everything needs to be available, um, especially while you're on the go, right? Um, and again, having all sorts of operational tools to save you time and improve efficiency. Again, these are so key in making sure that you guys have all of that, um, you know, necessary automation in place so that you can focus on other things. And of course, right, the most important, having the ability to customize um, your property management software, software and having those customizable tools available so that, again, you have more time to focus on your day to day. So where is Guesty today as a company? We are 350 plus employees. We have raised over 60 million in funding and we have customers across 80 countries and making sure that we're servicing them specifically in offices in 11 locations worldwide so that we provide that high level of service to all of our customers. Um, as you guys know, right, property managers, you have so many decisions to make when it comes to your rental businesses from where to build your inventory to how to price those listings each day of the week, and of, of course, not to get buried by your competition. So to make these, these decisions, you're really gonna need a trusted, reliable source to gather that valuable market insight. And with that, let's hand it over to our friends at Transparent, who are the experts here on utilizing that data. So Lucy, handing it over to you. Thank you, Shelley. Um, and firstly, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Guesty for having us today. Um, so hi, everyone. My name is Lucy, and I'm an account manager at Transparent. So Transparent is a vacant vacation rental decision-making platform, which empowers property managers worldwide to increase their revenue and grow. 
We track more listings and more reservations globally than any other industry player. And our data is sourced from four of the major OTAs, which we upload into a user-friendly platform. Our industry-leading market intelligence informs optimized rates, occupancy, distribution, and inventory, and is trusted by many key players. In addition to our PM dashboard, our clients range from DMOs to partnerships we formed with property management systems such as Guesty. So with that in mind, we thought it would be great to start 2020 with revenue in mind and show you some ways to get ahead this year. We're breaking this webinar down into the following three sections. Number one, larger and effective inventory. Number two, more reservations. And three, specific and optimized pricing. So we want to show you how market intelligence can inform the strategic decisions that impact revenue using examples from our PM dashboard. We hope that by the end of the session, you'll have identified some ways in which data can improve your inventory, occupancy, and rates. Please do be sure to note down any questions you have ready for the Q&A session at the end. So first point, larger and effective inventory, um, beginning with larger inventory. So this one may seem a little obvious, but the larger your inventory, the greater the revenue. Having the resources to effectively build your inventory is key to this. Um, I'll show you how you can source non-professionally managed listings in a PM dashboard very shortly. So leaning on from this, it stands to reason that the inventory you have must be effective in order to maximize revenue. In general, yes, more stock equals more revenue. However, we've seen that by restricting efforts, and prioritizing more lucrative stock has a greater return. Lucrative here can be defined either by location or ADR. So another way to ensure you're managing the most effective inventory is to look at the performance of different stock types in order to prioritize prospecting to make sure that you're targeting the most profitable listings. You can compare the occupancy, rates, and demand by stock type to see how they behave differently at different times of year. An obvious example of this is how around the holidays, larger properties become more popular. Rates usually follow the logical trend um, that the larger the property, the higher the price. However, due to seasonal demand, there are occasions where you could be leaving money on the table, but still receive the same amount of reservations. This leads me into my next point. How do you get more reservations? So there are many things you can do, of course, to get more reservations, um, but today we're just gonna focus on the following four main points. So firstly, act on reviews. Improve your own listings and play by the OTA rules to boost your search ranking to get more bookings. Identify your weaknesses, by checking recent reviews and establish actionable operational changes. It's important to improve reviews as your review score has a huge impact on your listings visibility. Second, learn from top performing listings. Here simply, you need to identify the top performing listings in your market and learn from them. In our dashboard, you can identify your competitors and look at their inventory and the performance of their inventory, which we'll get to in just a moment. Number three, optimize minimum stay settings. The less you restrict your minimum stay settings, the more people will view your listings. You could also use other methods, such as pricing, to protect your revenue by setting a minimum price. For example, you could increase the nightly price and allow for two night minimum stays instead of restricting to three. And number four, price by market supply and demand. Identifying your optimal rate in each specific case will of course lead to more reservations. We'll have a look at this in further on the next slide. But the main thing to consider here is remaining supply versus existing demand. If a date has low availability and a high level of demand, it is compressed. 
and will generally attract a higher ADR. Your rates should always be attuned to how many people are booking your property on a given day and how much competition you have. The more frequent and specific your adjustments, the more ahead of your market you'll be. Which leads us nicely into the next point regarding specific and optimized pricing. So we're going to start with specific pricing. Um, so specific pricing here, tailoring rates by stock, location, and platform. So prices are driven by different factors. Uh, we've identified uh, these three to be the largest, again, to be stock, location, and platform. Demand drives the price people are willing to pay, and your pricing can never be too specific. It's possible to go one step further than dynamic pricing and make your rates even more intelligent. In our dashboard, you can identify high-performing competitors with similar stock types so that you can use them as a benchmark. Location, of course, has an effect on pricing, and it's also important that you're monitoring the supply and rates in each zip code you operate in to see if it is growing. It's also interesting to check how pricing changes across the different channels. Could you maybe be charging a higher price on HomeAway than you are on Airbnb for the same listing? So moving now into optimized pricing. Um, this is about being sensitive to fluctuation in day-to-day -day pricing. You need to understand the prices people are willing to pay and when in order to get ahead of your competitors. Only PMs with access to market intelligence are able to react to demand so quickly. Understanding and looking at seasonality throughout the year enables you to set a solid base price. Our dashboard flags key events throughout the year in your market to notify you of a reason for a spike in demand. So now that we've summarized, we've just discussed these uh, three factors of PM revenue, I'm going to jump across to our dashboard just to show you a few data-driven examples. You just bear with me one sec. Okay, um, so now we're looking at our PM dashboard uh, and what can you do? How can we help increase inventory? So as you can see here, amongst other available filters, what you're able to do is distinguish between professionally and non-professionally managed inventory. As you can see here, there's other filters, the zip code is discussed. So you have the option here to firstly choose, if you wish, between single and multi-owner types. And just here by selecting NA removes all of the professionally managed inventory. So now you're left in Austin, Texas with 9,000 non-professionally managed listings. So if you are looking to grow your inventory, you may want to start by targeting those with the lowest review scores. Makes sense, the people with the lower review scores are of course more likely to want to work with a professional property manager. So what you can do is by selecting the lowest review scores, and you can apply the heat map, and here you can pinpoint those listings that are non-professionally managed with a low review score, and you can see here how you can visit the page of the listing as well. So another useful way that this heat map can be applied is to show you how to point out the most profitable listings. So if we switch to advertised rate and apply the heat map here, what you're seeing, of course, the darker colors are those higher priced listings. On the map, you can see here around Westlake Hills and around Lake Travis. So you can see it visually, or if you scroll up, you can see it by zip code. And if, for example, you really are targeting those highest, highest priced, so here from 2.8,000 to 13,000 a night, 
you can see how the map has changed accordingly. Um, so as we mentioned before, it's equally important to compare your own stock types in order to identify your own most lucrative inventory. So with that said, I'm just gonna move along to the rate and demand tab, specifically to the bedroom view. So for the example, we're just gonna take a look at listings on Home Away of two and three bedrooms that are houses. Also just gonna extend the calendar here, the forward facing data to the end of April. Okay. So now we're only looking at two and three bedroom houses within Austin, Texas on home away. So the first graph you're seeing is the average nightly occupancy. I've removed all of the other um, bedroom sizes that you can see here, you know, starting from studios to 11 plus, just to focus on two and three bedrooms. So what you can see here in the occupancy is that from now to around the end of February, start of early March, then in general, two bedrooms have a higher occupancy. You can see here the blue line is higher than the gray line. You can see this switch um, around the start of March here, where you can see as we move into March, into April, that three bedrooms are in fact taking over with the higher occupancy for those two months. So additionally, we can check the rates. So average nightly rate by bedroom count. Again, only looking at two and three bedrooms, um, following that usual trend, you know, the larger the property, the larger the price, which you can see very, very clearly here. But as you come down to check the demand um, in this section that we call pick up seven days, this essentially is the demand in the last week. What we're saying is, in comparison to last week, how many less apartments are available on the market? And what you can see here is in the last seven days, for example, for March 12th, 17 three bedroom houses have been booked. So that's how you can check the demand. So it's interesting to check. Let's see here. So March 26, you can see an example of where the demand for two bedrooms is higher than the demand for three bedrooms. However, as you move up to the pricing, you can still see that same disparity as if it were the other way around. This is an, um, an example of where money is being left on the table. You can see that the demand is there, but the prices do not match the demand. So guys, yeah, please just make sure that there is a lot of information here that you are writing down, jotting down any questions that you can shoot over to us at the end in the Q&A session. Perfect. So I'm just going to jump over to the reviews tab. This is to show you how to act on reviews in order to increase your reservations. So what we've done here is compiled all of the latest reviews. You can see here now for the whole of Austin, which you can, of course, filter down to your area, for example. So we take a look at 78704. It's the highest number of listings in Austin. And what you're seeing here is the percentage of ratings from zero to five. The actual reviews themselves, you can come here and, and read what people have said. See, there's... 909 of them. And on the right hand side, what's really useful, uh, word cloud for bad and good reviews. So this will tell you instantly, as you can see here for bad reviews in this particular zip code, the word roaches is in the middle, is what's standing out. So for sure, if you have an apartment in 78704, you wanna get rid of the roaches. Um, that one kind of goes without saying, but you know, you never know there could be something else in there that you don't have or you never thought about 
that people are really turned off by. What you want to know and what you want to, of course, make sure you have are the good reviews. So clean, of course, being the big word here, clean, comfortable space. So really just taking this information and implementing it in your own in your own listings to get more reservations. So another great way, in addition to this, to improve your own in your own listings and therefore welcome more reservations is to learn from the top performing listings in your market. How you can do that. So just going to move over to our written demand section and hit listing level view. So here you're prompted, as you can see, to select a professional property manager. Which we're gonna do, let's just take turnkey VR as an example. So what you're looking at is a full inventory of turnkey VR. Every single listing that they have in Austin, Texas, there's 24 pages you can see here which platform it's on, where it is, how big, and the review score. So always filtered highest to lowest so that you're always looking at the top performing listings first. You can of course check the reliability in the review count. So 30 reviews of five out of five looks pretty good to me. So now you've identified some top performing listings, you can of course go by clicking the title to the listing page, which enables you to see the photos, read the titles, read the descriptions, check the amenities, self-check-in, all of these things that you need to take into consideration that your competitors are doing, that you maybe should consider doing if you are trying to get more reservations, increase your occupancy or increase your rates. So now you can check your prices um, by the market supply and demand. So I just need to hear. So here what you're able to do is to compare your own pricing with that of the whole market your occupancy, your pricing as well. And what we can see here, um, that this weekend, so February 1st, around February 1st and 2nd, has the highest occupancy currently between now and the end of April, between now and April 30th. But as we come down to the rates, you can see here that although the highest occupancy is for these days, they do not have the highest prices. So this is an example of how you can really quickly identify your when your pricing is a little off. You could potentially make some more money here. So in order to optimize your pricing, you need to understand both day-to-day -day and also seasonal. Um, this allows you to look at next month's data and proactively adjust your prices. So if we just want to have a look at the month of February. And what you can do here, um, again, by looking in the pickup, so by looking in the demand for the month of February, so you can plan ahead for those prices. You know right now what people are booking for February. So you can see here again, this weekend being most popular, followed by the 7th and the 8th. So you can be as proactive as possible and get your rates right. So we saw previously um, in the bedroom view where we were comparing the different stock types. Um, here in the market overview, you can identify how you can tailor your rates um, amongst other things by location or zip code and platform or channel. So as I mentioned, you, you're right now you're comparing yourself with the whole market within which zip code and on which channel. You're also able to compare your own listings with any property manager. If we use, um, let's use Turnkey again. 
or any host here, so the host being non-professionally managed. So um, you've been able to compare your own listings with pre-identified competitors, uh, professional or non-professional. Um, and now I'm just going to move in to show you about seasonal pricing. So here in the calendar, you're able to really quickly see where you're sitting, if you're sitting marginally above or below, either again, the whole market or any competitor. So right now, again, no filters selected besides Airbnb. So you're comparing your prices with the market. An example exactly here of a time where you're sitting just below the market average. And here on the Friday, where an example of where you're sitting just higher, which is very easy to identify with the, the bright color coding, of course, green meaning cheaper and red meaning more expensive. So what you can also see in this view, I take this out to March, is any upcoming major events. So you can see here, so this, this sort of stripe, large stripe of red showing uh, higher average prices, almost 220%. You can go here and see if there's any reason. So any major events, so St. Patrick's Day Festival, and here also South by Southwest, which is a large music festival in Austin, Texas. So what you can do, of course, is looking at the current market occupancy, making sure your rates are right. Is it too soon to increase your rates? Is it too late? You know, this is how you're going to be able to see in advance and proactively make necessary changes. So to wrap up, we've taken you through how to enhance your inventory, both in terms of growing and effectivity. We've discussed how data can fuel the number of reservations you're receiving. And finally, we talked about the importance of tailoring pricing as specifically as possible, and how the cornerstone of all this is data-powered insights. So what does it mean to have all of this data but no resources to implement it? That's where Guesty comes in. So I'll kindly pass you back to Shelley. Thanks, Lucy, and thank you so much for taking us through that. So now that Lucy has showed us what Transparent can do and how it can really show us those key markets insights um you know and give provide a wealth of valuable data to help you make more informed decisions um, that really impact your inventory your reservations and of course your pricing strategy but having all of this market knowledge it's amazing but what does it mean to have all that data what can you do with it um, and how can you implement it into your day-to-day -day activities and actually see the results from it so that's where guesty comes in with a robust PMS like Guesty, you can pair this data with automation tools to ensure these amazing insights you've just gathered are actually implemented into your business. So let's start with larger, more effective inventory. So first of all, when looking for inventory, how transparent can help is it can show you where to zone in and get that inventory. Um, of course, you know, Acquiring supply is never easy, but having that focused place and having those key strategic locations to focus on getting that inventory is going to make the biggest difference in your business and, of course, in your revenue. So now once you've actually acquired that, rep, uh, that inventory, setting up that inventory actually is very easy with a property management software like Guesty. So first, on Guesty, you can set up different types of inventory, like multi-unit, rooms, apartment, houses, and as Lucy showed us, right, in different locations, different type of rooms or houses or inventory types, as we like to categorize them, perform differently. So first, making sure that you're looking at a system like Transparent, right, to make sure what's performing the best so you know exactly what to acquire, and then, of course, to set that up appropriately so that it's, that it's super relevant when it's being displayed across all the channels. Um, which we'll get to in just a bit about channel management and distribution. But of course, the first place that everything starts is setting up that inventory on your property management system. Now, once you have that inventory right, another piece that is going to help you guys get more revenue is actually 
amenities. And as you guys are probably aware, amenities are displayed differently across different platforms. And it's a pain to have to understand which amenity is on which platform and how, you know, what is going to show. And what we've done in it for you guys within Guesty is we've mapped out each amenity type that you can find in a property in a property and we've mapped it out to the specific channel so again when you're setting up that inventory and you're setting up that that property you're only setting it up once for every single type of channel that you want because you have everything mapped out within Guesty that again will be displayed um, across those different channels and now lastly we've talked about a bit about it um, which is uh, distribution um, you know, you acquire all that inventory, you set it up appropriately and based on market insight to what's going to attract the guests, the, to the most amount of guests, right? And so now what do you do with it? And of course, um, you distribute it, right? And there's so many different strategies to distributing um, your properties and making sure that you're marketing to as many guests as possible. So, you know, again, at the end of the day, this is this is the meat of the business. This is exactly what's getting you guys not only you know your supply scene but getting that demand in and getting you um, maximum occupancy which means maximum revenue so when we talk about maximum occupancy we're talking about more reservations now for us getting more reserva re more reservations is a four-part strategy and of course the first thing it starts with is that distribution strategy Having a distribution strategy in place means you need to have a strong channel management feature in place, and that's what Guesty provides, right? Channel management me meaning you're able to distribute across multiple platforms and control all of your availability and rates in one single place. With Guesty, you can absolutely do that. We have integrations with Airbnb, Booking.com, HomeAway, Expedia, two different channel managers, Rentals United, SiteMinder, and again, giving more options to our property management company. So of course, you guys have a, you know, the maximum opportunity to distribute those properties and get as much reservations as possible. Now, getting that reservation is not really enough. You have to convert those reservations. And, and how do you convert those reservations? Well, key, a big part of conversions is guest communication. And having an ad advanced guest communication tool behind you, like our Unified Inbox, for example, um, is, is key here. You know, guests are expecting a high level of service, especially if they are coming to uh, service departments over a hotel that does have a 24-7 reception area. And they do want to be answered very quickly, but it doesn't necessarily mean they want to talk to you all the time. They just want to be rest assured that you are there to provide them with that service. So first, um, with the inbox, right, you can answer very quickly across every single types of media types, whether it's the booking platform, it's SMS, it's email, right? Again, any type of um, media that's coming in can be answered through the inbox. But again, also, you don't wanna be stuck to answering. You need to have automated workflows in place and automated communication flows more specifically in place. And with that, you have automated messages. Be being able to set up messages according to key events in a guest's journey, like booking confirmation, like the week before a check-in, the hour before a check-in, even 30 days after a checkout to make sure that you know the guest had a good stay and set you up, of course, for the next piece that's going to help you get to more reservations, which are reviews, right? Reviews in uh, in today's you know age of a sharing economy is key. It's your reputation, and we want to make sure we're managing our reputation as best as possible. And as Transparent showed us, um, you know, seeing all of those reviews and being able to manage those reviews is so important. But but how are you able to get the reviews? You know, guests aren't so quick to leave reviews today, um, unless it was a bad review, right? Then they're very, you know, easy and it's very quick that they're going to leave that review because at the end of the day, they, something upset them that they wanted to do that. But getting those good reviews is is much harder. So what's a, you know, what's a way to do that? Well, why don't you leave them a review? And with Guesty, we make that super easy with auto reviews, where you can automatically set up reviews to be sent out to the guests after they check out. 
And of course, if you leave a review, you're most likely to get a review. And this is so great because now you're building up your online presence, your online reputation, and this is gonna result in more reservations. Now, the next and last way here that we see is a way to get more reservations is a branded website. Again, we talked about having an online presence and the website is the voice of your company. It's how you communicate yourselves to guests. And yes, of course, guests are finding you on channels, but they are for sure going and looking for that branded website to see if you are, again, legitimate. It's what legitimizes you. So at the end of the day, um, having a branded website is so important. And the pro of that as well is not only is that your voice, but those reservations that are coming in from your website are pure revenue streams. You're not having to pay a channel commission to the channels. Um, and again, now you're even building another way to, to boost your revenue strategy, which is with direct reservations, um, which again is, is a pure revenue stream. So, I mean, without reservations, you know, there is no operations behind your business. But again, it's not just having those reservations that help you with revenue, it's how you're pricing them. And Lucy really touched upon this. Um, during uh, during her part of the presentation, which is don't leave money on the table, right? So when you're using Transparent's tool um, and you get to see exactly what the market is doing and how it's performing at different pricing points. So once you've gathered all of that insightful data from Transparent, you need to pair it with a pricing tool that can implement and automate these strategies to your listings across all of the connected channels if it's Airbnb, if it's your own website, if it's booking.com, right? You need one place to distribute all of that pricing strategy um, to all of those different channels. In the past several years, companies have really become more and more sophisticated with yielding. More factors have come into play like industry averages and, and really other unique considerations like holidays, um, like special offers, right? like that one day of the week that there was a peak because something happened in the market. You know, it's it's super dynamic and pricing is a super dynamic factor that should always be treated with trial and error. And of course, always be treated as something that needs to be tweaked here and there. It's not enough to just set your pricing strategy once. You're gonna have to constantly go back and look at it and keep setting it over and over again. So, you know, what Guesty can do with our yield management to, tool is you can see all of you know your pricing and you can see and set all of your pricing strategies super easily with our tool. It's a powerful tool that, for example, you can set um, seasonal rates. You can set those special rates and special discounts for holidays and events. You can have reoccurring day rates, like for example, Mondays and Saturdays. If you find that those are the you know days that you have the lowest occupancy, because first of all, Saturdays are usually days people are checking out, so they can get home on a Sunday for Monday work. And Monday is the beginning of the week, right? So it's not necessarily going to be the highest occupancy rate. And again, you see here that it's so easy to just come at a rule, set it, and then forget about it until you need to come back and tweak it because you see that there's something else performing better. Again, pricing is all about trial and error and, and having that one place to set that pricing um, is you know, the best possible thing you can bring to your business um, to be able to maximize your revenue potential. This doesn't just help get more reservations because you know, you know, your prices aren't necessarily lower, but it's really actually making sure that you're gaining the most revenue and optimizing those prices so that you're competitive to the market and again, um, being able to, to increase those, that revenue for 2020. So as we established, data is an incredibly powerful tool when it comes to growing your rental business. But when paired with a PMS as complete as Guesty, the power of our platform is only enhanced. But when you have access to all of this data, like the kind you get from Transparent, you're now using this powerful platform like Guesty with a data-driven approach and making data-driven decisions. Valuable, meaningful data that can really majorly impact your inventory, your bookings, everything that impacts your business's growth and revenue stream. Clients using Guesty have reported 150% increase in annual revenue, 100% increase in listings annually, and 50 hours saved a week. That's massive, right? making sure you know you guys can see the results 
and of course, pairing it with data to even enhance those results. It's the ultimate combination to grow your business, and it's really the only way you can ensure that you're making those right data-driven decisions at the right time for your business. So Transparent is just one of many uh, companies that we have available for you to tap into on Guesty's marketplace. For those of you who are less familiar with Guesty and even those who utilize us today, not only do we enable direct integrations with key OTA platforms, but our platform also features a marketplace uh, where our customers can really directly connect with Guesty approved and vetted third party tech solutions across several verticals and have seamless integrations so you can really easily build a tech stack, which is really, again, another key aspect to grow and scale your business. You know, our marketplace serves over 80 countries and we have 12 categories on the marketplace from guest experience to management, all the way down to uh, home automation um, and yield management, of course, as well, and pricing tools. So again, making sure that you have every single tool you need available for you to be able to grow and scale your businesses. All right, everyone. So thank you so much for joining us today. It was such a pleasure to be here um, with Lucy and present, uh, you know, how data can really help you guys grow your business in 2020. Um, if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to email either myself or Lucy. We've included our emails here. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time uh, on our next webinar. Have a great day, everyone, or evening. Thank you, everyone, as well, from us here at Transparent. And, of course, a huge, huge thank you to Shelley uh, and Guesty, of course, for organizing today. Uh, and thank you to those of you who have already booked a demo. Um, anyone else who would like to? As Shelly said, we'll be in touch soon um, with the webinar um, and also meeting links. You can also go to our websites. Thank you.